The flag system has been designed to keep you safe while on track and allow the track management to expand your vision beyond what you can see from the car. Please take a moment and reflect on them so you know and can recall them quickly. The green flag, displayed only at the main starter stand. When the green flag is displayed, this means the course is clear. Any passing rules or zones for green flag driving will now be in effect. Standing yellow flag, take care, danger, and slow down. We advise that you wave your right hand inside the car to indicate to those behind you that you've slowed your pace. There is no passing until you are clear of the emergency area or you pass a flag station that is not displaying the yellow. Waving yellow flag. You are approaching an emergency situation. This is most commonly a car that has spun out and is in a hazardous place on the track. No passing until you are clear of the emergency area. The passing flag. This flag indicates that another driver is following you closely and is trying to overtake you. This is an advisory flag and does not mandate that you allow a pass, but it benefits no one for a slower car to hold up a faster car. Surface condition flag. Oil, coolant, dry sweep, rocks, or a number of things is ahead of you on the track. Once the flagger has shown this flag to all cars once, he will withdraw it. Black flag. The furled black may be shaken or pointed at a specific car as a warning that the driver is exhibiting unsafe behavior. You're to stop the unsafe behavior immediately. Open black flag will either be waved directly at a specific car or be displayed with a number board indicating which car is being notified. If your car receives this black flag, proceed directly to the pits and see the track officials. Open or wave black flag for all cars. Displayed at all stations. For some reason, the track needs to be cleared immediately. All cars should proceed directly to the pits. Mechanical black flag or the meatball. Shown to a specific car that has an apparent mechanical or safety issue that needs to be corrected immediately. This could be a fluid leak, a door and hood not latched, or a variety of other concerns. If you receive this flag, you are to exit to the pits where track officials will notify you of the problem. Red flag. The most common use of the red flag is to display it at each station, indicating danger, and for cars to come to an immediate stop on the edge of the track as quickly as they can, do not stop over the crest of a hill or a blind turn. Emergency vehicles will not enter the track unless all cars are completely stopped. You'll be notified by a nearby flagger to proceed safely to the pits. If you're out of the view of the flagger, feed into traffic as it passes in a safe manner. White flag. This is a flag generally used in a racing situation to indicate a slow-moving emergency or disabled vehicle ahead. Checkered flag. The session is over. Cautiously continue to the pits. A last note on track protocol. If your car becomes disabled on track, do not get out of the car unless there's a potential of fire or you're instructed by a track worker to do so. If you must wait in a disabled car, reach out and tap the roof or your helmet in an open car, definitively indicating you're okay. Then wait for help. Come, don't wait. I mean, you just learn so much. The instructors are great. You just learn how to handle your car. I mean, just in an emergency, hope that you spin out so you get to see what it feels like. And you know, they tell you what to do. You know, you learn just how to handle emergencies. And besides that, you can you know, actually drive.